Calculating your FTE. For many employers, one of the most confusing aspects of the Affordable Care Act is understanding full-time equivalents, or FTE. Understanding FTE is important, however, because this is the number that defines whether or not you will have to pay a penalty for not offering coverage to your employees, as well as the level of coverage you will expect to purchase. Now, the first thing to understand when calculating your FTE is that this is not the same as simply counting the number of full-time employees. The ACA combines the number of full-time employees with the hours of your part-time employees, including seasonal workers that work at least 20 days per year. Let's take a look at an example. For me to calculate my FTE, the first thing I'm going to do is review all the hours of my employees over my previous 12-month look-back period. Going back over the last 12 months, I see that I have 88 employees that have been working 30 or more hours per week. With this knowledge, I can say that I have 88 full-time employees. Now at first glance, you may want to assume that I'm safe from having to pay a penalty in 2015 because I have less than 100 employees. However, to calculate FTE, I still need to add in my part-time employees. When I look at my part-time employees over the last 12 months, I see that I have 36 employees who have been working less than 30 hours per week. Now to add the part-time employees to the FTE, I first have to determine how many hours per month they've been working. The upper limit of this number is 120 hours per month. In my company, I see that my part-time employees have worked an average of 82 hours per month over my look-back period. So what I do now is I multiply the 36 part-time employees by the 82 hours. This gives me 2,952. Now I take the 2,952 and divide that by 120. This is the number that the ACA requires us to use when converting part-time employee hours into full-time equivalents. This formula gives me 24.6, which rounds down to 24. So according to the Affordable Care Act, in addition to my 88 full-time employees, the ones that are working 30 or more hours per week, I also have another 24 full-time equivalents that I need to add. This makes my actual FTE count 112, which does in fact mean that I'm responsible for the 2015 employer mandate. Now remember that even though my full-time equivalent is 112, I am still only responsible for offering coverage to my 88 full-time employees.